Straw wine, or raisin wine, is a wine made from grapes that have been dried to concentrate their juice. The result is similar to that of the ice wine process, but suitable for warmer climates. The classic method dries clusters of grapes on mats of straw in the sun, but some regions dry them under cover, on roofs, or on modern racks, while some hang up the grapes or leave them to dry on the vine. The technique dates back to pre-Roman times, and most production of these wines has been in northern Italy, Greece, and the French Alps. However producers in other areas are now starting to experiment with the method. Straw wines are typically sweet to very sweet white wines, similar in density and sweetness to sauternes and capable of long life. The low yields and labor-intensive production method means that they are quite expensive. Around Verona red grapes are dried, and are fermented in two different ways to make a dry red wine Amarone, and a sweet red wine Recioto della Valpolicella. History A dried grape wine known as the Cypriot manna was described in 800 BC by the Greek poet Hesiod. Similar principles were used to make the medieval Cypriot wine Commandaria, which is still produced today. Various Mediterranean raisin wines were described in the 1st century AD by Columella and Pliny the Elder. Pliny uses the Greek term for honey wine for the following raisin wine. The grapes are left on the vine to dry in the sun. It is made by drying grapes in the sun, and then placing them for seven days in a closed place upon hurdles, some seven feet from the ground, care being taken to protect them at night from the dews. On the eighth day they are trodden out. This method, it is said, produces a liquor of exquisite bouquet and flavor. The liquor known as melatites is also one of the sweet wines. Columella discusses the possum wine made in ancient Carthage. The modern Italian name for this wine, passito, echoes this ancient word, as does the French word used to describe the process of producing straw wines, passerillage. Perhaps the closest thing to possum is Moscato Passito di Pantelleria from Zabibbo, a variety of the ancient muscat grape, produced on Pantelleria, an island in the Strait of Sicily 50 miles from Tunisia opposite to where Carthage used to be. Australia Barossa Valley producer, Turkey Flat Vineyards has been experimenting with this style very successfully since 2002 with their 100% Mersan aptly named The Last Straw. Air dried on racks for approximately six weeks it is fermented in new oak and now bottle post-fermentation to retain freshness. Residual sugar sits at a comparatively low 59 grams, L. Austria, Germany Strohwein or Schilfwein is an Austrian wine term in the Predikatswein category which designates a straw wine, a sweet dessert wine made from raisin-like dried grapes. Stroh is German for straw, while Schilf means reed. The minimum must weight requirements for Strohwein or Schilfwein is 25 degrees Kmw, the same as for Austrian Birenauslis, and these regulations are part of the Austrian wine law. The grapes are furthermore required to be dried for a minimum of three months, either by laying the grape bunches on mats of straw or reed, or by hanging the bunches up for drying by suspending them from pieces of string. However, if the grapes have reached a must weight of at least 30 came same must weight as a trockenbirinoslis after a minimum of two months, the grapes are allowed to be pressed at this earlier time. Strohwein and Schilfwein are treated as synonyms by the wine law, and the choice between them therefore depends on local naming tradition rather than the specific material used for the drying mats for a specific batch of wine. The Strohwein predicate exists only in Austria, not in Germany. Topic. Croatia The raisin wine most commonly seen in Croatia is Prosec which is traditionally from the southern area of Dalmatia. It is made using dried wine grapes in the Pasito method. There are only a few commercial producers as it is typically a homemade affair. Topic. Czech Republic Slamave vino is the Czech term for straw wine that, under Czech wine law, is classified as a predicate wine Czech, Jakostny vino s privlastkom. 
Czech regulations require the harvested grapes to come from a single wine sub-region. The grapes must be dried for at least three months either on straw or reed mats or hung in a well-ventilated space, and the must weight is required to reach at least 27 degrees Nm on the normalizavani mostomer scale. Straw wine in the Czech Republic is typically made from white grapes that are well ripened and undamaged. France Vin de paille is the French for straw wine, made only in the ripest vintages. Perhaps the best known example is made in the Côtes du Jura Arbois and sometimes from a blend of Chardonnay, Savignine and the red grape Paulsard. Vins de paille are also made from Mersan in Hermitage, and from Riesling in Alsace. In Carese, it is called vin paille. Traditionally the grapes are placed indoors on straw mats for up to three months, and the final wine has 10–20% residual sugar, with flavors of peaches and apricots. It is an excellent accompaniment to foie gras. Greece, Cyprus Some raisin wines are produced in Greece and Cyprus. Commandaria claims descent from the native Cypriot wine served at the wedding of King Richard the Lionheart, just after he conquered the island, and then produced by the Knights Templar at La Grande Commandery in Cyprus after they purchased it from him, and hence claims to be oldest named wine still in production. Commandaria is made from two indigenous grapes, the white Zynisteri and the red Mavro, an ancestor of the Negret grape known as Pinot Saint George in the U.S. Vin Santo, the hallmark dessert wine of the island of Santorini, is made of the choicest Assertico grapes, vinified after a few days of sundrying. It is then barreled to mature for several years, as its capacity for aging is measured in decades. Some varieties of the famed sweet wines of Samos Island are also made of sun-dried Muscat Blanca Petites Grains grapes. Italy. In Italy, the generic name for these wines is passito. The method of production is called raisinate to dry and shrivel. The Moscato passito di Pantelleria has already been mentioned above. Other famous passiti include Vin Santo in Tuscany, Resioto around Verona, the historical made since Roman times Caluso passito made from Herbaluce grapes from the Canavese region in Piedmont and Chachetra from the Cinque Terre east of Genoa. Tuscany Vin Santo is made in Tuscany from hand-picked grapes that are hung from the rafters to dry. They are fermented in small cigar-shaped barrels called caratelli, and then aged in the caratelli for up to ten years in the roof of the winery. The wine develops a deep golden or amber color, and a sweet, often nutty, taste. Vin Santo is often served as Cantucci e Vin Santo, with almond or hazelnut biscuits which are then dipped in the wine. Piedmont Passito di Caluso, precious straw wine made from Herbaluce di Caluso best grapes harvested, it stays six months on straw mats to dry, then after a soft pressing it goes in oak barrels for at least four years, before being bottled. It is one of the three historical Passito wines, Pantelleria, Shashetra and Caluso. Veneto The more famous are the Passito wines made from the blend of red wine grapes typical of Valpolicella, 40–70% Corvina, 20–40% Rondinella and 5–25% Molinara. The grapes are dried on traditional straw mats or on racks on the valley slopes. There are two styles of red Passito produced in Veneto. If fermentation is complete, the result is Amarone della Valpolicella. Amarone, literally, extra bitter, as opposed to sweet. Amarone is a very ripe, raisiny red wine with very little acid, often greater than 15% alcohol the legal minimum is 14%. Typically Amarone is released five years after the vintage, even though this is not a legal requirement. The pumice left over from pressing off the Amarone is used in the production of Ripasso Valpolicellas. Amarone was awarded Denominazione di origin controllata status in December 1990 and promoted to Denominazione di origin controllata e garantita status in December 2009. 
If fermentation is incomplete, the result is a sweet red wine called Recioto della Valpolicella. Fermentation may stop for several reasons, including low nutrient levels, high alcohol, and botrytis metabolites. Grapes dried in the valley bottoms are more prone to noble rot and are favored for Recioto, whereas grapes intended for Amarone are dried on the higher slopes to avoid botrytis. Recioto della Valpolicella is regarded as a good companion to chocolate desserts because of the high acidity in cocoa. Refrontolo Passito is a Passito red wine produced in a hilly area close to Canelliano in the Treviso province. In few hectares of this small area in the core of Prosecco, only few thousands of bottles of Refrontolo Passito, a denominazione of Colli di Canelliano DOCG, are produced. This wine is made from Marzamino grapes, it was already appreciated in the past as documented in the opera Don Giovanni of W.A. Mozart, where the protagonist describes it as an excellent wine. Recioto di Sove is the Passito white wine from around Verona, made from the Garganega grape used in Sove. The name comes from the word, receive that in the native Venetian language means ears, a reference to this variety's habit of forming two small clusters of extra ripe grapes sticking out of the top of the main bunch, that were preferred for this wine. It seems to be an ancient wine. In the 5th century AD, Cassiodorus refers to a sweet white wine from Verona that sounds like Recioto di Sove. A classic accompaniment can be the Christmas sweets Panettone and Pandoro of Verona. Torcolato is also Passito style white wine from the region. It has a warm golden color and sweet flavor, pleasantly persistent, round and thick. It is an excellent dessert wine, one of the top national wines. It is produced in Braganze, along the strada or wine road between the Astico and Brenta rivers, in the strip of land between the city of Bassano del Grappa and the Valdistico Valley. The name comes from a word of the Venetian language and means twisted, indeed, in the traditional production method, the clusters were twisted to dried. Ramondolo Passito is a Passito wine from the closely Friuli region. Typically produced in the hilly area around Nimes closed to Udine by Verduzzo Friulano grapes, is sweet full-bodied and honey taste. In the same area is produced even the prestigious Piccolite, an extremely high-quality Passito wine. In the Treviso and Venice area are often produced some Romandolo style wines by the varieties Verduzzo Friulano and Verduzzo Trevigiano A match-up that could be recommended as between the Venetian Sweet Basola and Verduzzo Passito wines. Slovakia Slamave vino is the Slovak term for straw wine that, under Slovak wine law, is classified as a predicate wine Slovak, akost ne vino s privlastkom. Slovak regulations require the wine to be produced from well-ripened grapes, stored before processing on straw or reed matting, or hung on strings for at least three months. Additionally, the must weight is required to reach at least 27 degrees Nm on the normalizovani mustomer scale. Grapes should originate in a single wine sub-region and reach at least 6% of alcohol. <inaudible> South Africa De Trafford created the first Vin de Paille to be released under the new appellation, Wine from Naturally Dried Grapes, in 1997. They use 100% Chenin Blanc. Spain A number of wineries produce straw wine, known in Spanish as vino de pasas, including Bodegas Oliveros and Bodegas González Palacios. Most involve a blend of two grapes, the first one usually a muscat. Pedro Jiménez grapes are dried in the sun before being vinified, fortified and matured in a solera system like other sherries. Another straw wine of Spain, produced only by locals of the town of Pedro Bernardo, province of Avila, Castile and Leon is known as Ligueruelo wine. Grapes of the uva Ligueruelo variety are cultivated in drained, warm, sunny vineyards, and then collected and partially dehydrated over zardos or wicker beds constructed to give a light maturation to the grapes, exposed to sun during the first days of fall. These half-dried grapes are then vinified in big clay jars or amphorae called tinaya, and conserved in clay or crystal recipients. Dominican Republic 
Barcelo Winery produces an apparently well-known straw wine known as Caballo Blanco. The primary grape is an Alexandrian Muscat. Topic: <laughs> United States. Some California wineries are experimenting with the Vin de Pie style. Tablas Creek Vineyard, in Paso Robles, make one from 100% Roussan, one from 100% Morvedra, and one from a blend of Roussan, Viognier, Grenache Blanc and Mersan, while cult winery Sine Qua Non makes one from 100% Semillon. Stony Hill Winery, a renowned Chardonnay producer in the Napa Valley, makes a 100% Semillon in the Italian Passito style. Cupe, in Santa Barbara County, makes a vin de paille from 100% Mersan, sourced from the Sawyer Lindquist Vineyard. Barboursville Vineyards in Virginia produces a straw wine in the Italian Passito style, based on Moscato Autonal and Vidal grapes. Potomac Point Winery, also in Virginia, produces a straw wine based on the Petite Mansing grape. Likewise, King Family Vineyards in Crozet, Virginia produces a 100% Petite Mansing in the vin de paille style, called Laurely. In Texas, it was illegal to make wine from dried grapes until 1999, when following pressure from Sean and Rocco Bruno, who wanted to recreate the raisin wines of their Sicilian heritage, the Alcoholic Beverage Code was amended. Ravines Wine Cellars in the Finger Lakes produces a vin de paille from Chardonnay grapes. The cool climate of the Finger Lakes gives the grapes a good acidity, like the Jura region of France. Silver Springs Winery in the Finger Lakes produces a vin de paille from 100% Cayuga White and 100% Pinot Grigio. Topic: <inaudible> Denmark. A Danish winery, Vester Ulslev Vingard, has made wine from dried grapes since 2007. The varieties used are Leon Millet and Cabernet Cantor. The grapes are dried for four to five weeks using forced ventilation. During that time the grapes lose up to 50% of their weight, the remaining juice being similarly more concentrated. The wines produced are red, dry wines with a level of alcohol of more than 15%. Vester Ulslev Vingard sees the use of dried grapes as a means to make more powerful wines in a cool climate and also as a means to redress deficits in concentration and sugars in bad seasons. In 2010 a double fermented Repasso method wine was also produced using the pumice of the first wine. Topic: See also Dessert wine Late harvest wine Sweetness of wine Vin Santo